Good afternoon, YouTube. Today is Sunday, July the 1st. So now I do have um, a big, well, not a big, hmm, a really small Dollar Tree haul video for you. It's really, really small. And also I have a three DIYs um, ideas that obviously they are not, I mean, they're not mine. I will give credit where credit is due. The credit, I will be, give credit to uh, Josie from Life at 50 and Beyond and Ably. Um, these projects or DIYs will be coming from their videos. Um, so stay tuned. I'll get a couple of things because I am needing to organize my stuff that I do have. Um, and I'll take a before and after picture so that you can see exactly what it is that I am doing. So let's just get started. It's really, really quick. It's small. So I purchased these pink containers at the Dollar Tree. They're pretty much like your shoebox container. So I purchased four. There's, there was a total of eight. And <clears throat> after I left the store, I said, oh my gosh, I should have purchased um all of them um because i'm gonna regret it i have a feeling but hopefully not so let's just see so i purchased four of those i don't i don't need to really show you all of them but like i was mentioning before how i was trying to buy some school supplies some fun school supplies for my babies for my babies for nana's babies so <clears throat> All I bought was pencils here. These are, it looks like it's kind of like under the sea kind of theme. It has an octopus with an anchor. And there's a shark with a, and these are for my little mama Stasia. Um, these are just pretty pink and confetti and little flowers there. And for my little genius Joshua, there you go, simple and cute. So I purchased one of these other mirrors. Um, it has a little magnet here. I had one <coughs> and I had it at my job and I don't know what I did with that. Honestly, I really don't know what I did with that. And the only reason I bought another one is because one of the girls and usually at my job, I'll go ahead and I'll keep it on the side of the refrigerator. And if I need it to see if my eye makeup is smeared or what have you, then I was able to see it. So one of the girls at work goes, Joanne, what happened to your mirror? And I was like, I don't know. So I purchased another one because honestly, I don't know what happened to it. Um, I got a stocking cap for my grandson. Mmm. I did get a couple of washies that I do not have from the Dollar Tree. I really love this blue um, white polka dot one. It is so pretty. And it's a ribbon tape or tape rib ribbon, ribbon. And this one here, I don't have this little chevron or not little chevron. And I don't have this one either. It's like little... Um, rainbows candy time it's so pretty i'm gonna do it's like this see you can see the rainbow the little present the ladybug this one is so pretty i don't have this one okay i also purchased Um, this, it is called a notebook cat, uh, it's a notebook here for journal, memo pads, or idea books here. The only reason I bought this is because I am trying to convert my wallet. I purchased, oh, and I didn't even show you the other day or on my previous video where I purchased these 
wallets at the 99 cent store. I purchased two. Let me show you the other one. This one here. This. So what I wanted to do is make this into a um, some form of journal. I know that Josie from Life at 15 Beyond, she does create her journals. And I have to look at one of her videos um, to see if I can create one. Or not necessarily a journal per se, but um, like a financial tracker. And I'm thinking this would be really nice. This is kind of like a faux leather, I guess, kind of cover. It's really soft. It's really nice. Um, the paper is just has the lines like this. It's very, very nice. Um, so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to see if it fits in here and to see if my wall, the wallet will close. Um, and it doesn't seem like it will close so I need to try to figure out a way to uh, put this in here maybe it does hold on I have to look oh it does close see and I just want to show you that it is in here see so I really want to create like a financial um, thing that I would carry with me to keep track of my bills um, when I pay them online or over the phone or anything like that. I've always wanted to carry one like this for my financial status uh, or, or financial keeping or record keeping. And I really want to somehow convert this uh, to that. So I'm going to be looking at Josie's uh, from Life at 15 Beyond videos uh, to see if I can get an idea as to how she can help me create one. So I purchased these push pins um here we go again this is a, another buy it's a, um a second buy i purchased these before but let me tell you these things oh my gosh look at the the back part of it it is pretty long there guys so this is actually these pins these push pins this is what's actually holding up my lamp my light <clears throat> so i purchased another another one so, um, I have two um, DIYs that I will be doing, and neither one of them is my idea, honestly. Um, one is from uh, Abel Lee. Oh my gosh, he is so sweet. I just love him. Um, his creativity and his crafts are freaking amazing. I am, I really love to watch him. So, I got these little, um, little like little uh, baskets and there were three for one dollar three for a dollar so I really wanted to keep one on my workspace um, and just use it for my trash I'm not sure what's stuck here oh my gosh it's cracked or broken that's okay oh my gosh it's broken <sighs> that's okay all I do want to do is just put a little trash bag in here and just so that I can throw my stuff in here on my um, workspace. Uh, oh, there. No way. Uh, are they all like that? This one's also broken. Uh, not this one. I think I'm going to have to take them back because I really, really want them <laughs> not broken. Uh, maybe I can just put some washi tape around here just to kind of decorate it like a border of some sort and then just use it to put my makeup brushes or, or my pins that I don't use but I do like to have very handy. So I just, I just don't use them as often. So what else did I get? Oh, so I was like in the um, school aisle or the office supply or the craft area, whatever it is. Um, that and I saw these cute stickers. Oh my gosh, 
they are 80 count and it's assorted it's a sticker variety pack look at this it has the little gems here aren't these so cute and these are just like little birds with little flowers and then here you have windmills flowers a little fence look at that little fence is so cute there you go and enjoy you see that oh my god these are so cute so and then i walked throughout the store and i was trying to figure out it's like oh my gosh i need to find the rest I, there has to be more of these so i went and i went and i went so they had some heart ones as well with the little red sequins i really don't want any of those um so i didn't buy them i don't like to buy stickers i'm not going to use um and i know that i was not going to use those but maybe i would have i don't know probably not so then i found these these have the yellow little sequins look at these oh my gosh look at that oh i'm loving this ah oh, look how pretty that is jeez louisies ah i wish i would have bought another one of these oh my gosh i am loving this one i think i'm gonna use this for this month i'm gonna go ahead and leave that one out then I found this one here. It has a little pink sequins. It has the little gifts. Happiness, fun, little butterflies. Look at this. This is what caught my eye, the little owls. Look at that. And it has numbers one through 10. Love this trim. Look at the little cloud. Hello, love. <laughs> Beautiful, fun. I love you oh my gosh these are so cute i'm super super excited about these now my two my two diys oh and i bought this for my daughter this for her nail polish remover nail polish remover just stick the little cotton ball do a lot of a little bit and yeah there you go vamanos you're done <clears throat> And plus, it really smells when the alcohol, um, the nail polish remover is open. There are certain ones that she gets that does not have a smell. And then there's some that do. And this one, the one, the one that she's been getting, have not, they do not have a smell. So I'll be doing two uh, DIYs. One, um, an idea from, jo uh, from Josie at Life of 50 and Beyond. And one from uh, Abel Lee. Abel Lee's diy was amazing except that i wish i would have found the same colors he had or he found at his dollar tree and i'm going to go ahead and explain exactly what i will be doing um josie from life and 50 and beyond used one of these here for um for her glue gun so the glue gun will stick to here and she's using um which i already have um, these little things here she used this but I have some pink ones which I do want to use if I don't use pink one because I really want to do I really want to use the pink and it's going to be my favorite color and a color that I really really like so it's going to be pink and blue so uh, she has something like I have to look for this video again I know that she has it where she rests the glue gun here somewhere um and then she has like a little cup here um and what she does is that she'll use the to as a storage kind of to put her um glue sticks and this is the glass that i will be using i know it's fairly large but i really love blue blue is my favorite 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 color but i really really love pink so what I will be doing is that I will go ahead, I will use both of these, see how pretty it looks. And I will, I just need to look for that video. Um, and I'll be doing both of those um, DIYs. So for Abel Lee, what he did is that he used six of these one, two, three, four, five, six, 
six of the pencil holders, but his were like um, different colors. He had pink, yellow, turquoise, pink, yellow, turquoise, and orange, I think it was. So what he did is that he created um, a, like a holder for his pencils and for his um, markers and stuff like that. So I will create one, one as well for my pens and pencils and like for my, for my workspace. And I will definitely put that together. Um, I'm gonna put this together in a little bit as I'm trying to organize and, and straighten out some of my workspace. Um, so yeah, this is all I have. So the stuff that I purchased today, I will be using today, and the stuff that I purchased today will be all put to good use today. Um, one is gonna be for storage, one, two of them is for DIYs. Um, my stickers, I've, I don't have those, and I really, really like them. The school supplies are gonna go for my babies. Um, and that little notebook, I am going to create a, a financial binder or um, like a financial journal or a financial tracker. Um, let's, I, yeah, I'll call it that financial tracker. And I'm going to use this one here. This, this is all I have for today. Hope everyone has an amazing weekend. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do not hesitate to hit the subscribe button down below. Um, and again, this is Joe, the fun, happy planner. Hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. God bless.